and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badgerworks. Today, a uh, little bit of a prototype here. Uh, I've been working on a new smoke generator for a project and I've also been working on some different control methods. So what we're doing here is we're using a DigiSpark, which is a, a, an Arduino derivative, and a relay to control the smoke generator. So what we've got here is a 12 volt, 10,000 milliamp hour battery with a safe discharge rate of about five and a half amps. Going into the test rig, which is here basically so I can see what it's doing. Uh, and from there the power's going into this rail and the rail is then providing power to the various different components. So we have a live and an earth going to the DigiSpark. Um, that in turn is providing power to the 5 volt relay here and also the 5 volt fan on the smoke machine uh, and they all share a common ground on the rail this green wire is the data, it's the trigger for the relay and what I've done is I've programmed the different pins so pin 0 is power out uh, pin 1 is power out, they're just constant power to, to power the relay and the fan as I said um, pin 2 is two seconds on, two seconds off. Pin three is three seconds on, three seconds off. Pin four is four seconds, pin five is five seconds. So basically you can control the frequency and the duration of the puffs from the smoke machine uh, depending on which pin you plug into. At the moment I've got it plugged into four seconds. So let's uh, switch it on. Because basically what I want to do is I want to try a little experiment. I've, uh, I built this yesterday it's a new different size box, I haven't made one this size before and what I want to do now is I want to find out how long it will run for uh, both in terms of how much smoke it will produce with the amount of fluid that's in it and also how long the battery will last so I soaked the wick and I've put 15 cc's of smoke fluid in there and what we'll do now is we'll switch it on and leave it running and see what happens. Now the nice thing here is that this the uh, electrical tester that I built before, which you may well have seen actually has a timer on it. So not only will it tell us the volts and the amps and everything else, it will also tell us how long it's been running for. So it makes it very easy to do a test like this. So um, let's switch it on and see what happens. Ready? Contact. So we just wait for the DigiSpark to start up and there it goes. So you see the fan goes off there's smoke coming out, four seconds on, four seconds off. So that's drawing about nearly nine volts and about five and a half, it's running at about 45 watts. So what we'll do now is just leave it running and um, see what happens. So back in a bit. So that's been running for about 15 minutes now, um, still going strong, so we'll keep it running and see what happens, see you in a bit. So this has been running for about half an hour now, and as you can see the amount of smoke coming out is increasing, and the reason for this is because the fluid inside the tank actually acts as a coolant, uh, it helps keep the box cool and the heating element cool. So as the amount of fluid inside the machine goes down, the amount of smoke, conversely, coming out goes up. And this is a good way of knowing when it's starting to, the fluid's starting to get a bit low, because you start getting a lot more smoke. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another sort of maybe 5 or 10 cc's of fluid in and, uh, and keep going. As far as the battery goes... Um, we're still doing quite well. We're, we're down to 11 and a half volts. So we've only lost a very small amount considering how long it's been on for. So I'm going to keep it running. Yeah, the wires, nothing's hot. I'm going to put some more fluid in it. I use a syringe to put the fluid in because it, um, it's easy to see exactly how much you put in. And now you see the amount of smoke coming out of it has gone down and that's because the fluid is now cooling the heating element. So we'll leave this running and uh, see how we get on. 
Uh, okay, so I had to go out for a little while, so unfortunately I had to turn it off, um, which is reset the timer. But it was on 35 minutes, so um, we'll just go back, keep it running, and see how we get on with it. Back in a bit. So this has been running for just over an hour now. Uh, everything's going very well. Battery's down to about 10.6 volts. Um, nothing is getting hot. Everything's fine. Uh, I've been putting fluid in at the rate of about 10 cc's every 20 minutes. Now that might be overdoing it a little bit. I think you could probably put in 10 cc's every half an hour and it would be fine. But... Um, yeah, on the whole, I'm quite pleased with that's going so far. I'm going to keep it running for a bit longer and uh, just make sure everything's okay. Back in a bit. Okay, this has been running for nearly two hours now. The battery is down to just under 10.5 volts. Um, everything's still cool. Nothing's overheating. No fires. Um... On the whole, I think this is a rather successful test. So um, I'm going to keep running this just to, to see what happens. But uh, on the whole, I think this has been rather successful. Hopefully this has been of some interest to you. It's certainly been very useful for me. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.